Hello guys, I uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. Um, still uh, eating a lot of fruit and vegetables, um, whole grain, beans, nuts, seeds. Starting to make a lot more different recipes. I actually made 100% um, uh, vegan pizza with onions, mushrooms, peppers, zucchini, carrots. It was really good. Um, so I'm probably going to you know, share that with you guys. Um, so yeah, you know, I've been eating a lot of different foods, a lot of cooked food, um, and I actually feel really good and everything, but, um, <laughs> I don't think that we should be, um, raw, well, like, a lot of raw food, um, I kind of changed my opinion a little bit on that, I mean, I think that we should still eat a lot of raw fruits and vegetables, but I don't think that we should exclusively live on raw foods because, in a lot of the research that I've just recently learned, um, a lot of people can get too thin, they can uh, get a lot of dental problems. Uh, there's nothing wrong with eating cooked whole plant foods. I mean, it's just a lot more variety, and I actually feel a lot healthier. And, um, I mean, because look at me, I'm 25, and um, it seems like every day people are like, Wow, you look incredibly young. <laughs> You look incredibly young for being 25. I mean, people know when people find out how old I am, they're like in shock. Seriously, they're in shock when they find out how old I am. And um, I see these fruitarians on YouTube, like Durian Ryder, and all these other guys. You know, and yeah, it's great that they eat healthy, but I mean, they look far older than me. And believe me, when I'm their age, because you know I'm going to be 26 next year. When I'm in my 30s, I'm hoping to look far, far, far younger than any of these other guys. And, um, you know, I'm all about eating extremely healthy, and I'm not afraid of using superfoods like, you know, green superfood powders. And I, I love taking herbs and, you know, making my own herbal tinctures. I just love all of it. You know, and I'm very passionate about it, and I'm not a fanatic either, and I'm, and I've never said that I wouldn't ever eat an animal product again either. You know, um, because I'm not dogmatic and I'm not fanatic, and uh, you know, humans like to put everything in a box and say, "Well, here you go. You know, if you if you're a vegan, then you're 100% healthy, and you're gonna live a long life, and you know, everything's gonna be good and dandy, and you're gonna age really, really slow." Well, it's not, you know, it's not that simple. I believe there's a lot of things that we haven't fully learned and discovered yet when it comes to eating healthy and, and what the body actually requires. Um, so yeah, you know, like, you know, I might have some fish sometime, you know, or whatever. Does that mean I'm unhealthy? Does that mean that I'm going to age quicker than all these other people? Does that mean that I'm fat? Guys, I'm thinner than Durian Rider. I'm thinner than a lot of these other people that are eating fruitarian diets. And, you know, to them, I'm not pure, and I'm not as healthy as them, because I'm not low-fat, high-fruit, you know, and therefore, I'm, I'm unhealthy. But look at me. Do I look unhealthy? No, I look healthier than these guys, who are fruitarians, who are eating low-fat. So what's that tell you? It tells you that, you know, they don't have all the answers. And stop being misled, and stop following, and being so dogmatic with everything. You know, that's all I'm trying to say here in this video is like, you know, open your minds, question things yourself, and don't just get caught up in what all these other guys are saying. You know, just because they have thousands of subscribers doesn't mean that they're right. Just because they might be popular doesn't mean that they're right. And just because they've been eating this way for so many years doesn't mean that they're right. And so, you know, even question what I say. But the thing is, look at me, you know, and, um, because a lot of the things that all these people are saying is not true, and it's not scientific, um, there's a lot of good points that a lot of other YouTubers have brought out, like Secrets of Longevity, even though Zach eats a lot of animal products, which I don't always, which I don't agree with, it doesn't mean that Zach is wrong, and it doesn't mean that Zach is gonna die at a young age, and it doesn't mean that Zach's gonna age quicker. You know, everybody has a lot of good information, and if you just 
say, no, nah, it doesn't, that's not true, or whatever, then you might actually miss out on a lot of important things that could be beneficial for you. See, what I've done is I've taken, and I've listened to a whole bunch of different people out there, and I've read a lot of different things um, online, and researched a lot of different things, and I've kind of like taken all that information and just analyzed it all in my brain. You know, because I'm always analyzing things. This is the way I am. I'm, I consider myself very intelligent. I might not sound intelligent on the video because I might not get into all the, you know, jargon and all these scientific studies and this and that and how this and that works. But the thing is, is I will take all these other informations, information that I've learned and just analyze it and try to figure out what makes the most sense and then apply it to my life. And um, it's kind of like my little secret you know, of um, how I can actually, you know, become healthier as an individual. The other thing is, is that, um, you know, a lot of these health gurus and everybody, you know, they're all talking about eat lots of fruit and vegetables, eat low fat, take your superfoods, buy this, buy that. You know, because it's got this property and that property, and you need to detox, and you need to detox this, and you need to keep cleaning out. That's, to me, that's silly. That's ridiculous. Do animals outside think to myself, I've got to keep detoxing because I'm not, I'm not pure. I'm so toxic that I've got to keep cleaning myself out and out and out and out and out. And, and I'm never going to reach a state of perfection. Nonsense. Animals don't think like that. Why do humans? Because humans are dumb. Because they're stupid because they're trying to reach something that is actually not achievable and it's more important to be right with God than it is actually trying to become super healthy only to die someday and this body turns back to dust which, with it, which, with, which was formed out of dust see it doesn't make any sense people that are trying to save their life will lose their life but people that lose their life to Jesus Christ will save their life and yeah, you can call me a religious nut, you can call me whatever you want. But the thing is, Christianity is not about religion, it's about a relationship with um, God. And, you know, the thing is, is religion is what you can do for God. Christianity is about what Christ did for us on the cross. And he's not a monster, and he loves us. And you know what else? There is a lot of really great health tips and things in the Bible, and that people don't ever talk about. And, uh, just one of those things that is, I believe, one of the secrets to why I actually age slow and am healthy is, for one, okay, um, I re I'm repenting and turning away from my sin on a continual basis. That means that I want to be a righteous person. I want to be a humble, loving, and righteous person who wants to follow God and obey Him. Second of all, it says that laughter is the best medicine. Well, guess what? You can't sell laughter in a pill or a bottle. If you want true joy, then you have to ask God for that. You know? That's what all these other people aren't telling you. And you know what? I think that I'm right, because I believe that the scripture is true. And it also says that those who honor and obey their parents will live a long life as well. And a good example of that is Bernardo Lopalo. You know, he's 109. And um, I love my parents, and I will honor them, and I will obey them. Even though I don't live there anymore, I can still honor and obey them, and take their wisdom. And, um, you know, I laugh a lot. I'm a really happy individual. I smile a lot, too. And um, to me, being happy, laughing, having a good time, is far more important than what you're actually eating. So... Hopefully you guys have learned some information from this video that could really help you in your conquest of being healthier. So with that, stay tuned guys because I do have more good videos for you guys. And we're not just going to talk about, you know, um, food and this and that, but we're gonna, I'm going to help share a lot of these important things so that you guys too can experience great health. So. Take care, guys. Have a wonderful day, and look to God for your answers.